Hello Lolas, welcome, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And today I am just going to talk about eBay just a little bit, um, just because this is something um, I am reintroducing to myself and learning. eBay has a new process and the whole setup is a little different than before. Um, so I'm slowly testing it out to see how I like it, but I am occasionally putting a few babies out on eBay um, just simply because it's just easier for me to just put the baby out there, leave it when it sells, it sells. And, you know, occasionally I'll share the post, I mean, the link to the eBay um, sales post and it has all the information right there, the scope name, the, the painter, you know, the details on the scope, all that great stuff that most people ask when they want to uh, purchase a doll. Also, um, it allows me to upload 12 photos. Um, I have not learned how to do the whole, you know, fancy inside the description bar where you insert even more photos and all that stuff. Um, but I think the 12 photos is suffice. I... Um, try to pick the best ones to show mostly everything on the doll. Um, so, yeah. Um, I do <laughs> know from me purchasing and from me selling on there recently that now eBay does include a sales tax. That is something they do on their end. Don't have a clue how they calculate the sales tax. Is it from where I'm located or if it's from where the seller is located at um I mean, the buyer is located at. Um, so, yeah. So, um, that is just my thing. Now, eBay, I do increase the price on my, my babies when they go to eBay just simply because I, I have to consider that eBay does charge a fee to list on there. Um, and usually I don't, and let me also say this, usually I don't, I normally market my dolls at a lower price because you don't have to go through the whole listing, the whole, all the, the shebang of eBay. eBay takes time to get everything uploaded, blah, 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 blah. So there's that. So um, if you see two different prices, a price that is lower on Facebook or Instagram, but then you go to eBay and it's higher, that is why. And usually um, eBay is definitely going to be for babies that I'm not doing a layaway with, that I'm looking for a straight out buy for those particular dolls. So I will put them on eBay for a straight out purchase. Um, so that's where I'm trying to do because I've gotten so busy in, you know, other things and projects and low key doing a couple private orders. Um, so... Um, that's where I'm at with that. And, um, oh, this is baby Tariq. If you guys don't know who he is, he is my Pascal sculpt that I painted. And he was rooted by my, um, rooter. Um, and I say my, like, not like I own her, but I typically is who I primarily use for the most part, which is Sentimental Babies. Um... But yeah, so that is what I am considering right now. I know a lot of people have moved away from eBay, but I am going to give it another shot and see how it goes. I know a lot of people are doing Reborns.com. I am not familiar with the site. I have heard very positive things from both buyers and sellers. And one day I may try it out, but right now I just decided to go with Old Faithful, which is eBay. And then, um, of course, I sell in the Chatterbox. Um, I, you know, what I post in the Chatterbox, I always let them know what I'm working on, what's coming up, and then um, ahead of time. And then I share on all the platforms. So now I probably will do less of a lot of, you know, uh, individual posts. I would just probably just share the link in different groups and, and kind of be done with that. Um, 
it's just easier for me so and then also like one of my last purchases um the lady said that she had been trying to get a hold of me and couldn't because uh, or she did but she messaged me but I didn't respond but I get messages on Facebook in like on a Facebook page and it some go in spam folders if you're not a friend of mine on there and then I just don't get notification of those messages or I don't see them um so that that happens as well and also I just I'm, I'm human and I kind of some stuff I overlook same with Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram the messages normally go into a whole nother spam folder so I find that if I put the babies on eBay sometime that might make it a little bit easier for people that are not in my day-to-day -day circles and um you know want to get one of my babies that I've painted so I'll just give you guys a quick update um I know I I I'm really excited about new changes and stuff but everything is a work in progress um so I wanted to to roll out Zaria which is my new girl that I I want to introduce to you guys um, I did share her in the next level, which is my paid channel membership. You can join that by clicking the join link or um, the link in the description bar that says the chat box. It is the, the tier for $4.99. Um, but I will get around to doing that soon. Also, Miss Andy and all that stuff is going to come back here. My more interactive videos will be here my topic videos and stuff will be in the chat box mostly um and then i'll do live streams on both here and in the chat box but mostly faithfully every month at least once a month i will do one in the chat box even if you guys don't see me out here but i try not to forget about you guys and um so yeah so i'm working on a couple babies and um I just almost jumped because it looked like a baby moved, but it it didn't. It was uh, never mind. Anyway, um, so I'm working on a couple couple babies. I am almost done with the pro one of the prototypes as far as the painting goes. So I'll be doing matting um, probably tonight or early morning. Not sure if I'm gonna show it before it's rooted um, just yet. I haven't decided on that. So. Um, so I have that coming up and then I have, I am working on a full body baby boy that I will be, um, uh, putting up for sale. Um, and again, that's another one. I may give a peek in the chatter box before, um, that one is rooted. So just to give an early bird, if someone wants to reserve it before it's rooted, but um, otherwise I will get that one rooted and then I will have that available. That I am closing out the year. Um, I have a Palmer that I've painted and that one is going to, I'm waiting on the body and I will share that one with you guys um, as soon as the body arrives. And um, that one is one that will um, come back to me at a later date for rooting, but it is going home as a ball baby temporarily. So, um, I have so many different things. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, I am painting a Nori boy. I will show you guys that one as a blank as well before I actually paint it. And so that one will probably go on my table next week sometime. So as far as available babies go, I won't have that many left for the end of the year. I do have a Palmer with hands and feet that I will uh, make available to reserve once I get some of these other babies done and complete it and know, you know, what kind of time frame I got going on with that. So um, I may may do that when there's a private order reserve. Um, still still uh, thinking on that. But um, so 
this year like i said i got a full body i'm gonna have a um a few more cuddles that's gonna be available um bald and rooted hopefully and then i have Gigi, which i know y'all tired of me talking about Gigi, but Gigi is making a lot of progress um on her rooting so as soon as she's finished being rooted i will look her over and make sure I'm good with everything else on her. Um, make sure there's nothing else I want to touch on, touch up on her. And then I will do her some finalized pictures and then I will put her up for sale. Um, my prices, as far as prices goes, my prices varies from one baby to the next. I don't have a set price schedule um, or like I don't have like, you know, flat fees. Like some people will be like, oh, reworn from this inch to that inch is this price or a reborn or a silicone baby from this you know size this size or rooted or ball and they have those prices i don't price my babies that way i price my babies after they're painted sometime i can get an idea of it but usually i price them after they full they're fully completed which um there's that and then whenever i do a private order for a baby like a full body or a um, cuddle baby or something like that I do kind of have a general pricing schedule for that that I kind of keep in mind because I like to be able to still make the same amount I would have made if I did it as a buy it now so um, I know some people in their head think they save money by doing customs um, sometimes I think a lot of people like to do customs or private orders for the layaway por portion of it but I guess that's why I was kind of trying to open it up to where if someone wanted to reserve a baby that way they could put something down and they have time to pay the the balance you know later and that gives them time you know kind of in the place of doing layaway I don't particularly care for layaway because you know this hobby is just too unpredictable um, and then it's stuff coming out constantly so one may change their mind they may see something different they may want the next baby that you do and all of a sudden they think you're supposed to just be like oh okay that's fine well then i've already turned down so many sellers for that particular baby and it's just it's too much um to have to deal with so i like to sell the baby get the baby gone um that's why i don't even like to reserve the baby before it's actually painted because that's too long of a wait um for people but anyway um layaway and all that stuff is case by case basis i'll be honest with you i don't particularly like to do layaway with people i've never done business with before because you just don't know what you're dealing with um and so i just don't want to put myself in that predicament but you know sometime depending on the baby the price range i'll take chances as far as overseas shipping, um, I am not an overseas shipper. I am sorry. I know some people do not like that about me, but that is my my way I'm most comfortable with. Sometimes if I've shipped to you before, done business with you before, and you're overseas, I may consider doing it then. And then, you know, sometimes, like, especially if it's like, an avid collector that has a pretty good reputation and they buy you know from the US all the time I may you know consider shipping but I'll tell you I don't particularly care for shipping reborns or you know the lower price dolls overseas and you know it might sound crazy but I don't know sometimes it's like it's not worth the the headache and then sometimes I feel like the customer is paying so much in shipping, at least make it worth their <laughs> their bang, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know, let you know, let it be a really, you know, nice baby if they're doing that, whatever. Anyway, I don't know. I just have my way and I'm I'm really, really understanding that I, I can be a little uh complex in my thoughts of how I do things, but that's just the way I operate. Um, my intentions are never to be wicked. It's just, I just like to be comfortable and I'm not used to this whole sell thing like a lot of people too. So, 
Um, I think more, more and more as I get more comfortable, I may be more open to other things. But right now, I'm just kind of like slowly easing my way into it all. Um, what else? Um, I think that's all I have to say. Um, I think, I guess my base price for Reborns, I usually, it's very rare that I sell a Reborn that I paint it under $700 bald. Um, but I have done it before. And then, um, silicone babies, I usually don't sell under 3800 but like some of the smaller babies well I'm not gonna even say about the smaller babies some of the babies sometime I well yeah I have sold them for a little less um like Nori as uh Nori was a cheaper baby um well I ain't gonna say cheaper because we shouldn't even use the word cheap in this hobby but a more and it, I can't even say inexpensive because they're all expensive. Hell, $500 is expensive to me. Um, a lesser price than usually my full bodies. Um, Gigi is another lesser price than my full bodies. Um, usually my full bodies are usually over $4,000. Um, so, but I'm not up there with some of the top artists. And I know people are like, oh my God, that's a lot of money. Um, you know, but most artists that put a lot of details in their babies and stuff like that and trust me they've been painting for many many years and I'm sure they deserve every penny of it I j I'm just not comfortable charging that much for my work yet um although painting um AA babies I think is probably worth it but I just my cap is like 5500 right now that's my cap right now um I'm not saying I won't ever have a baby that go over that but that's where I think my cap is right now um but I know a lot of the other artists charge like 8500 and upwards but you know I respect how people sell their babies I respect their prices for their babies it is what it is this is how I do my thing and, you know, some people might be like, oh, that's too high, blah, 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 blah. It is what it is. Um, next year might be a little different ball game. But right now, moving into the new year, this is where I'm at. I did take a couple orders. So I probably won't be in a place to really say if I could take a, another order until February of next year, if not March. So that's where I'm at now. So I'll do babies that's buy it now or in between. But I, I, that's where I'm at. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.